juicy story time. Please follow me on the gram at two underscores Bailey Day. Also like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay guys, so this story time is about a big ado, okay? If you're wondering like who's a big ado, pretty much in the last story time I had told y'all how these girls had like ran off on the bill on me because they were mad about a big ado. I'm gonna link that below so you guys can go watch that story time. But let's get into how I met a big ado, okay? So boom y'all, this is when I first moved to Dallas. This was in like 2020, 2021-ish. I did not know anybody. I didn't know anybody and i had met these girls so i'm gonna link another video it said pretty much it was like a bottle what basically i was trying to be a bottle girl and i got scammed right me and a few other girls so out of that group it was me and a few other girls and out of that group i had met like two cousins it was two girls and they were cousins or whatever and i was pretty much like hanging with them for a while and let me tell y'all so pretty much i was hanging with them they lived in dallas for they were probably living in dallas for like I think a year or two so they were more plugged in they knew more people and stuff like that so i was like hanging out with them y'all me and them had to stop hanging out because they were going to hood spots like they were like they were lit don't get me wrong i ain't gonna be making like they weren't lit they were lit but like okay so it was just one time the the very last time that i hung with them like unfortunately i'm the type of person where like if something bad happened to me and i'm with you it, I kind of take that as like a sign anyways they had invited me to this uh like ari fletcher like this ari like party or whatever they're like oh come out like ari's gonna be here or whatever like come out or whatever so i went to the ari fletcher like party or whatever y'all why to do so at the end of the party we leave why to do start to fight y'all they start fighting so i had parked literally across the street from the building it's like a street it was like you know a sidewalk street then my car the guys came out of the building fighting already. They land on type of on they land on top of my car, still fighting, and they're fighting on the roof of my car. To this day, I still have the dents in my car. Like the, they dented my hood. I have the dent in my hood from them fighting on the car. In the middle of them fighting, one of the dudes was losing and he pulled out a gun and he shot the other guy, y'all. On my car. On my car. So it was me and the two girl, the two cousins or whatever. Y'all, after that, like, I stopped hanging with them. Anyway, this had nothing to do with the story time. But basically, before that went down, they had invited me to, like, this Taco Tuesday or whatever. And the Taco Tuesday, I don't even know if that's still up. I don't even, I know it's downtown Dallas, but I don't know where exactly it was. Because that was actually a vibe. That was a vibe when I think about it. But pretty much I was there with them. And they were introducing me to people. And it was a good time. A big ado come out of nowhere he ordered me a drink and we start like talking right so he asked for my snapchat this was like the number one red flag y'all the whole time that me and a big ado talk we only talk through snapchat like if he's messaging me if he's messaging me good morning it's through snapchat if we're like what you doing it's through snapchat that was a red flag but honestly i don't know y'all me and him he pretty much asked for my snapchat i gave him my snapchat and let's speed up the story right boom so now me and him is messaging on snapchat so i say let's let's speed up the story to like two to me and him was talking for maybe like two to three months we've been talking to three two to three months and we only hung out like twice we went to like the club he invited me to the club twice yes y'all this is please but he invited me to the club twice we hung out at the club twice and again, we have, we, we're texting like consistent, it's consistent texting, but it's through Snapchat. Like we're messaging, messaging each other through Snapchat. Right. So boom, one day he hit me up. He like, Hey, my birthday's coming up and I want you to turn up with me for my birthday. So I'm like, okay, like, yeah, what you doing for your birthday? He like, I'm going to Atlanta. So this y'all before this, I went to Atlanta one time, but that was like literally like right in the middle of COVID and it was so boring and nobody was out there. So I thought I was going to have a different experience. So I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, like I've been to Atlanta one time, but it was super boring or whatever. He like, it's going to be lit, like come out, I'll buy your flight. Like I already got the Airbnb or whatever. It's so, like, just come out y'all. So I went right, boom. So I went to Atlanta for his birthday mind you we are still snapping right so boom the day comes where i'm getting on a plane i'm about to head to elena he messaged me like hey i'm gonna be late 
So you gonna get there at three, I'm gonna get there at like five. So I'm like, okay, cool, bet, right? I get on a plane, I make it to Atlanta. Y'all, I take my phone off airplane mode. I get a lot of messages like, oh my God, like I'm not gonna make it till tomorrow. Tomorrow, my y'all, like I said, me and him only hung out like two times. Me and him only hung out like two times or whatever. Yes, yes, we only hung out two times. He's like, yeah. So he's calling me through Snapchat. He's calling me like, hey, like, yeah, it's cool though, because my homeboy, he was on the same flight as you. He like, it's cool though, my homeboy was on the same flight as you. So you he pretty much is going, y'all can just Uber to the Airbnb together. And everybody at the Airbnb is going to be cool. Like, they all my friends. Like, you're good. Like, you have a room and everything. Like, you're straight. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Boom. So he, his friend, hit me up through Snapchat. Like, hey, I'm at this part of the airport. Da, da, da. Me and his friend link up and we head to the Airbnb, y'all. We head to the Airbnb. So boom. We get to the Airbnb and it's like four people there. It's three dudes and it's this one girl. So everybody in the kitchen drinking and eating and everything. So I come in, me and the homeboy come in. We're like, hey, like they're like, what's up? I'm telling like, I'm like Bailey. And they start like talking to each other, whatever. I say hey to the girl. She say hey or whatever. I go put my stuff up and I start looking around. I'm about to look through my phone and see if I can if I still had the like videos of it. Cause I'm not sure if it was in this phone or my other phone, but I'm gonna link some of like I'm gonna put the videos of like the air some of the airbnb and me in there with right so i'm looking around a place and i go outside y'all this place was so freaking cute it was so nice like it had a really nice jacuzzi it had a really nice like pool or whatever so i go outside y'all and the girl that was inside is outside butt naked i don't know if we can you say butt naked on here she outside no clothes on in the pool in the pool no clothes on y'all mind y'all at this time it was kind of cold i didn't go fake it was around like it was around like october it was around like nah it was like september october it was around like september october nah it was it was like the end of september going into october so it's it's not cold i'm not gonna i ain't even gonna say it was cold it was just know that she was in the pool nothing 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 on twerked out in the pool i'm like and then the thing about it y'all she had dyed her hair bright red and she's turning the freaking pool water like red like she has some long like long red hair and it's all in the water y'all and if the pool is red now i located took a video of her she let me take a video of her but i ain't gonna post that because like i said she ain't had no clothes on and i ain't trying to yeah get in trouble for that but pretty much she in the pool like twerked out so i'm like oh this is about to be a movie okay because they in this thing she already they getting it lit so basically you know we all like start drinking we start playing like truth and dare jenga like stuff like that boom that night happened the next day come the next day come a bigger dude come right so big a bigger dude come Everybody goes, what's up, a bigger dude? Like, happy birthday. Like, what's up, y'all? Like, it's my birthday. Da da da. Hugging his friends, dapping his friends up. Then he come over to me. Me and him is talking. And I'm just like, hey, like, how are you? He like, what's up? Like, I can't believe you really came out for my birthday. Like, thank you so much. Like, this means a lot to me. Da da da. Okay, y'all. So I did not get in the swimming pool. If I didn't mention that, I didn't get in the swimming pool because I didn't have a swimsuit, right? So a bigger dude said he's gonna buy me a swimsuit, right? so boom just keep that in mind so everybody y'all so he had friends in atlanta so today this is the next day the place is packed the airbnb is packed out he had friends in atlanta he had friends from dallas that had flew in he had like four or five friends from dallas that flew in he had a lot of friends in atlanta because i think he said he had lived in Atlanta at one point in time. So he had a lot of friends from Atlanta, just a lot of people all over the place at the Airbnb, y'all, and the Airbnb is lit, right? The Airbnb is lit up, everybody turned up, and it's a vibe, it's a vibe, right? So um, the night come and we go to the club, y'all. We go to the club, in the club we lit, okay? We drinking, we turned up, it's a good time so this is where things start going crazy right so boom we're leaving the club 
So it's me, a bigadoo, and a bigadoo friend. A bigadoo friend was not drinking, so he was a designated driver. And like I said, it's a lot of people, but everybody else got their own car or they're Ubering to the next location, right? So me, a bigadoo, and his friend hop in a car, y'all, and two other girls that came to the... So it was two girls that, like, his friend met at the club. They hopped in a car with us. Mind y'all, we're drunk, okay? So the girls hop in a car... And a bigger dude turn around and he's like, what the F? Why are you bees in my car? Now, here's the thing, y'all. This is why I did not like a bigger dude. A bigger dude was Russian and he was very aggressive, right? Super aggressive. So he's like, he's like, what the heck? Like, well, he's like, what the F? Like, why are y'all bees in my car? I don't know y'all bees. Da, 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 da. So, y'all, again, we are drunk. When he said that, I'm like, what the heck? One of the girls start crying because he literally kicked them out of the car. So I'm like, hold on, like, stop talking to them like that. Like, why are you yelling? Like, why are you yelling at them like that? Like, why are you talking to them like that? He's like, shut up. Am I talking to you? Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I guess, like, I didn't have to say anything because, like, he wasn't talking to me. But at the same time, it's like the girl is crying. You calling them bees these are your friends like homegirls why are you cussing them out so once he said that to me i'm like who are you talking to so at this point y'all me and him is getting into it we're getting into it he's yelling at me i'm yelling at him i'm like who are you talking to you're not talking to me you're not telling me to shut up he's like pretty much we're just going back and forth we're going back and forth we're like arguing we're yelling y'all to the point where i hop out the car and i start walking off so his friend driving on the side of me like, Bailey, like, Bailey, get back in the car. Like, just calm down. Get back in the car. A big dude hop out the car. He like, you know what, Bailey? I apologize. You know, I didn't mean to yell at you like that. But I didn't know them bees. I didn't know them bees. And they just hopping in their car. They're leeches. Them bees are leeches. Bailey, you, do you want your swimsuit? They're trying to take your swimsuit, Bailey. They're trying to get your swimsuit from you, Bailey. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, please. So basically, y'all, after that, like, I, I went to the next spot with them. But from there, I realized that a bigger dude was very aggressive, okay? And I don't like aggressive. My type of guy is, like, sweet, kind, and nice, y'all. Like, I like nice, sweet, kind guys. A bigger dude was just way too aggressive. And I didn't like it, right? So after that, though, I'm not gonna lie. It was that his his airbnb birthday thing was lit i'm not gonna even lie y'all like it was lit like after we had went to so after we got into it we had went to another club and then we had went to like his homeboy kickback or whatever his homeboy had a really nice high rise in atlanta and it was it was a really it was really a vibe y'all it was really a vibe oh so, much it's time for me to leave you know it was a time okay a time was had y'all a time was had so Boom, right? I, after that, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. After that, I stopped talking to a bigger dude. I cut a bigger dude off because the argument that me and him had, even though we were good, he went to go get my swimsuit. He, when we were in the car and he tweaked like that, y'all, I'm not even telling y'all everything that went down, but he was tripping and he was spazzing out on me and he's too aggressive, like way too aggressive. Like he's, like, he's the type, like, I don't understand, like, I wouldn't be able to, I need my dude to be calm and collective, okay? He could have easily told them girls, like, hey, I don't know y'all. Please get out the car. Like, who are y'all? Like, what's going on? But he was spazzing out. And then he started to spazz out on me. And I'm like, oh, no, I can't. Do, I don't do spazzers, right? I can't deal with spazzers, right? Boom. I stopped talking to him. Also, a lot of his friends was trying to talk to me. So I'm like, okay, that's another red flag. I feel like if, don't get me wrong, if you're talking to a guy and maybe, like, one friend is trying to talk to you you know you, they guys have a sneaky friend that try to talk to you but all of the y'all when i say like almost all of them was trying to talk to me almost all of them was trying to talk to me meaning i took that as a he was in like a relationship and they knew about it or b he was in a relationship and they knew about it like come on now all like all of his friends was trying to talk to me and that was just like a that was a super red flag right I say like Three to four months go by. Three to four months go by, and me and my homegirl is out. We at the club. We kicking it. 
we walk into the bathroom and guess who's there? A big, a big a big dude like Bailey, Bailey, what's up? And I'm like, what's up? Like me and my home girl, I introduced him to my home girl. We sit in his section. He like, hey, come to our kickback, bro. Like, come to our kickback. It's gonna be lit. Da da da. So I'm like, all right, yeah, like for sure. So we sit in his section. We kick with him in his section. Then we go back to the section that we was in. And that night, so pretty much that club night in, and we go to the kickback, right? So boom, me and my homegirl arrive to the kickback, and it's probably like five people in the kickback. Me and my homegirl come in the kickback. A bigger dude like, hey, everybody, this is Bailey. Everybody like, hey. So he's introducing me and my homegirl. He like, this is my sister, Rena. I'm like, hey, Rena. He like, this is my homeboy, Victor. This is this is this, this is this, this is this, and this, and this, and this is that, and the third, right? So I'm like, okay, cool, right? So me and my homegirl grab a drink, and we go, we sit down, and a bigger dude is pretty much like mingling around right now. Me and my homegirl talking, and I look over, and I see Rena, his sister, looking at me. So I look over, and I see Rena like, so I'm looking at Rena, and then I'm looking at my homegirl, and I look back over at Rena and I'm just like, okay. So Rena come over, she comes to by, she's like, hi, I'm Rena. We like, hey, I'm like, I'm Bailey. And my homegirl like, hey, you know, I'm such and such. And Rena's like, yeah, hi. And Rena's like, can I talk to you? I'm like, who? She's like, you. I'm like, hey, yeah. She's like, well, what's your name? I'm like, I'm Bailey or whatever. She's like, oh, okay, my sister died. Are you okay? Mind y'all, it's like 2 a.m. I'm like, are you okay? She's like, yes, my sister died and I'm like really sad and I'm hurt. So my homegirl here too, and she's like, are you okay? Y'all, so the girl get up and she go run to the bathroom and she start crying. So I'm looking at my homegirl, my homegirl looking at me and I'm like, what? So my homegirl like, I'm about to go check on her. So she knocked on the bathroom. Brita let my homegirl in the bathroom and I'm just sitting there chilling. Then here come a bigger dude. He comes in by me, and me and a bigger dude is talking, right? We laughing it up. We're having a good time. You know, we're just, we're all chilling. It's a vibe. My homegirl come over to me. She's like, hey, like, let's go talk on the balcony real quick. So I'm like, all right. So I go in the balcony. She's like, that's his girlfriend. I'm like, what? Who, what? She's like, Rena. Rena is a bigger dude's girlfriend. I'm like, the girl he just, call sister she's like yes that's his girlfriend i'm like but he just called her sister and y'all when he called her sister when he was like this is my sister rena she was just like hi when she started acting weird is when she said that her sister died that's when stuff started to get weird and then she got up and started crying so i'm just like okay i'm confused she's like pretty much she just told me in the bathroom like him that her and a big dude go together and she's not his sister. So me and my homegirl go back in there, go back in the place. I sit down and then Rena, she is like pretty much standing by the door and she's just like making an announcement like, I'm about to just, I'm about to just leave. I'm about to just go, I'm about to just leave. And y'all, at this point I'm confused. Cause I'm just like, it, okay so is this his sister or is this not his sister like i don't understand so she's making an announcement that she's about to leave a big dude was like are you good she's like yeah i'm good i'm about to just go then my homegirl was like are you like you can come over here and you can sit down and you can talk to us like are you straight she's like i'm just gonna come over and i'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys so she comes sit down she's crying at this point it's super weird so i text my homegirl and i'm like okay we by we are about to just leave because this is like awkward y'all y'all so me and my homegirl left and ever since then i have not talked to a big ado and that was around i say like that was october like september-ish october-ish until like february so that's 2020 going into 2021 so this girl keep bringing up a big ado wasn't even Rena. It was a whole different girl. So I'm just like, that's why y'all have to check out the other story time so I can understand what I'm talking about. The girl was upset about a big dude, and it she wasn't even the girlfriend. It, I don't know who's this man girlfriend. Okay, the man is it's crazy, right? Anyways, 
Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on the gram at two underscores Bailey Bay and your girl is out.